Hey girls. Come on, Gila Gal. Come on, Gila. She don't like you standing there. <laughs> Come on, Gila Gal. Good morning. What are you doing, Jordan? Making a cow pee. <laughs> so, we are a little bit coming. using, um, you get my milk bucket, Gila? We use the pee test. They're a urine test. Um, they're super easy to use. I have lots of friends who have used them for goats and cows for many years. Maybe. Come on, girl. There she goes. Mm. <laughs> and then you let it cool a bit. How's your lemonade? What's it look like? It looks like beer. How's your beer this morning? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> you want to tell them what you're doing? How you do it? Just massage right here under the vulva, firmly. I just kind of go in a circle, up and down. And then you get a clean catch, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. There she goes. There she goes. I'm gonna move out of the way. I don't want Pete on. Bottoms up. <laughs> We're gonna let this cool. I'm gonna milk, and then um, we'll show you how to test them. Okay, George got the pee strip. That's what it's called, the pee test, um, and he's gonna put it in the, the urine. Letter the letter P. <laughs> and you just dip it and get the blue part on it wet, and then you pull it out. Should be wet, is it not? I said like 10 seconds. I'm just making sure it gets good soaked. Gosh. Okay, and then I wrote on the, so then you. It's gonna be horizontal. Yeah, so you said it's horizontal, and then I wrote the girl's um, initials on them so we can verify who is who. And now we it's wait. Take like 10 minutes or something like that. I think so. I'll look at the instructions in a second. So these are the bovine pea strips. You can just order them. I'm not focusing here. I don't know why. Sorry. Why it's not focusing. There we go. Um, from M Lab. Anyway, that's it. And the results are in. Okay. So we did two for Peach just to confirm because we got her listed for sale. So we just kind of wanted to double check our findings. And it is a light blue, light green color, which corresponds to the instructions. Light blue, green is could be a very early pregnancy or very late pregnancy. Well, we know she's not very late. So. And put it down there. A very so early pregnancy. I don't know if you picked yep. that up on the camera, but yeah, you, can see. you can see it. White, if it was just plain white, like the color of the stick, that would mean she is not pregnant. So we got positive there. And we just did these ones for fun. This one is beach. And we knew on these we knew girls. She is that lighter blue as well. And that would be a very late pregnancy. We know she's due here probably in the next month or so. There's our beachy girl. We got Keila. And hers is a little on that darker blue. Kind of between the light blue and the darker blue. But that would be a midterm pregnancy, which is what we expect. So he's not due until February. Yep. So, so she's behind. So pregnant everyone's ladies. pregnant. Except for Maple. Maple's a little young. That's why they're not with the bull. Because we don't want her bread if she starts cycling. All the cows that are of age are pregnant. Heifers. They're heifers. Heifers or cows. <laughs> so, um, just wanted to show you guys how we do that. Super easy. If you guys are looking for something that's budget friendly, I highly suggest um, the pee test strip. And um, you don't have to draw blood, anything like that. You don't have to send anything off. You don't have to draw blood. You don't have to go to the vet. We're very hands off, right? Yeah. Except for when you rub them and get them excited to pee. It's about as hands-on as we get. Yep. <laughs> as it is. So, Keila is chowing some um, chaffe here. I think she's got a few peas in that bucket too. Sunflower seeds? Is that what you think? Yeah. Sunflower seeds. And then um, Beach was eating a few sunflower seeds. And then the other girls got a little handful of snack this morning, which they don't usually, but they did today. <laughs>